Hi guys, so welcome back to Cindy's Cooking. Today we are making breadfruit and codfish balls. If you know me, you know I love balls. So let's go ahead and get straight to the recipe. Super easy. Let's go. Honestly, I don't know how to choose them. I'm just gonna, you know, put it to my heart. And if we make a connection, then I'll just take that one. I don't know. Let me see. Let me touch it. Hmm, I'm feeling something. Yeah, I think that's the choosing one. Yeah, she's ugly, so just like me. Yeah. Another one. This, this look good. Yeah, how much is that one? <gasps> or maybe this one. Ooh. Um, where's the Haitian flag? Excuse me. Oh, okay, I see it. Y'all see it? Okay. Yeah. I was about to walk the fuck out. But should I do that one? I don't know. This uh, any mini mini mo catch a tiger by the so if he holla, let him go. Mm -hmm. My name. Damn, another ugly one? Well, I'll take that one instead. Fuck it. So, what I did with my codfish, I took it and I soaked it in water overnight. And I changed the water three times. I, you know, tossed it out and added uh, fresh clean water to get the salt out. I find it easier like that. Or you can also boil it for a little bit, but I, I don't prefer that method. I feel like you lose a lot of flavor. But do you, baby? So anyway, what I did is washed my breadfruit, and we're gonna peel it. Honestly, I would highly suggest using a potato peeler because a knife, honey. Um, no, don't do it. So once you peel your breadfruit to rinse it again to make sure it's not dirty Bring it to a pot and cut it into four Into quarters, okay, and once you do that We're gonna go ahead and bring it to the pot add cold water and fill the water up um, It doesn't have to be you know submerged as long as there's enough water to boil it, you know and then add some salt and boil it for about 15 minutes. It doesn't take that long, 15 to 20 minutes. It doesn't take too long to cook. It's similar to plantain and yam. Boil it the same way you would boil plantain and yam. But the tricky thing about lamb um, breadfruit, once it's cooked, remove it from the water. Otherwise, it's going to soak in all the water. Then it becomes disgusting and we don't want that. And this one was, these were sem semi-sweet, which was perfect. If, if you could find one that's like semi-sweet, that would be awesome how I know when it's a little sweet it would smell sweet it smells like it smells fruity so that's a way to know if it's um, it's if it's starting to ripe so one is fully green and the other one is starting to was um, starting to ripe so that's perfect for me the flavor was just amazing if you get it like that so now it's cooked I'm gonna remove it get rid of the water strain the water and then we're gonna go ahead and start with the codfish so in your pan whatever you're using your should see add vegetable oil please do not think it's a lot of oil that is not a lot of oil we're making codfish when you're making stuff like that use a lot of oil so add your a piece and you already know i have a a piece recipe on my youtube channel that's like the best recipe ever created by a haitian woman um go ahead and let that a piece fry for a little bit let it toast let it get a little color we want it to be a little brown we want the flavor we want the flavors to be intense 
I love intensity, okay? I love intensity. So, see, see, you see that? So, once it gets like that for, you know, a, a two to three minutes, it should get like that on high heat, high, uh, medium high heat. Go ahead and bring your codfish in there. And then we're going to add everything else. Because the codfish fish doesn't take long to cook. You all know that. You should if you don't. I'm not judging though. I'm not being rude or anything. So let's go ahead and add after you. Right after you add the codfish, go ahead and add your bell peppers, your onion, fresh parsley, fresh thyme, scotch bonnet pepper. Fish gotta be spicy in my... This is a rule in my book, okay? It only applies to me. It's just for me. But do you, like I said. Add your bell pepper. Add some clove. Um, I'm sorry. Yes, cloves too. We're gonna add cloves, some freshly grounded black pepper and all spice that I ground it together and I add it in there. And I, for seasoning, I'm using only two seasonings, you guys. I'm using the seafood seasoning and Creole seasoning because codfish is very salty, like you know, you know. Even though I soaked it in water overnight, like and I changed the water a few times. Oh, in that, I'm sorry, in that, nor. So you don't want to add too much because it can mess up the dish because it still has a lot of salt in it, honestly. So go ahead and add some lime juice or bitter orange juice. I prefer bitter orange juice sometimes. And some lime juice. Go ahead, give it a stir. And then we're going to cover it and let it cook for 10 minutes on medium-low heat. So it's been 10 minutes. We're gonna go ahead and check it. As you can see, we still want it to have a little bit of juice. That's why we, it's good to cook it on medium low heat so it's not dry. We don't want it dry. We like our stuff moist over here. Like it's gotta be moist, it's gotta be wet, it's gotta be juicy, okay? This is how we do things over here. Anyway, so give it a stir. And what we're gonna do now that it's fully cooked, we're gonna try to break the big pieces, okay? Try to cut, try to cut them a little bit smaller mash them or whatever you however you want to break it i use the fork to do that so do that break those big pieces into smaller smaller pieces you don't necessarily have to do it right now but you know and before we bring the cut fish into the uh, breadfruit make sure you remove the cloves and the thyme stem and the parsley so that way, you know, because, you know, if you're feeding it to babies, you know how some people, oh my god, I hate the taste of cloves. Like, grow up. It doesn't even taste that bad. Like, and cloves make your food so much better. Oh my god. Like, I love cloves. I'll marry cloves if I could. I'm just kidding. Clove is so ugly. Anyway, so what we're going to do now that our bread food is cooked, cool, let it cool down first. Okay, let it cool down first and go ahead and remove the middle part that you know stem whatever it is you call it see it's perfectly cooked and it's not it didn't soak all the water in and it's it's delicious so go ahead and break it into small pieces we're gonna mash it a little bit you can use a potato masher to do that but i am using um my pesto to break it to mash it like you know as if i was making tom tom fufu but feel free to use a potato masher for a cup if not a potato masher and go ahead and break it. Mash it a little bit. We just want it to be smaller pieces. We don't, we're not going to make it. It's not going to be fufu. It's not tom tom. Okay. So we just want it to be small pieces. Very small. And after that, you'll see the consistency. You see like that. Perfect. After that, go ahead and add the codfish in there. And give it a mix. And this is the perfect time to have like, you know, a potato masher. I don't know why I didn't use one. Yeah, that's kind of weird of me. But hey, I do a lot of weird things, you guys. I'm sorry. So go ahead and give it a nice mix. So make sure it's like, you know, small pieces. It's like, you know, it's good. Anyways, I don't know what I'm saying, but this is it, y'all. You see it? Give it a nice mix. Make sure everything is mixed. Because you don't want to take a bite of it and then the bite you take has no codfish. You want to be able to take a bite. like put, a, You know, like put a pop of ball in your mouth. Oh my god, yeah pop a ball in your mouth and then it has a little bit of everything like you can taste the codfish you can taste the peppers and you can taste the breadfruit you know that's how i like my balls anyway so now let's go ahead and make the balls this is the most exciting part rolling the balls in my hand oh my god yes yeah, so go ahead and make it a ball let it form it into a little ball like a tennis ball size i prefer bigger balls 
but you do you i have a big mouth so i prefer bigger balls anyway so now we've done that go ahead and roll it cut it with a little bit of flour just to cut it because we want that little skin to be a little crispy and we want it to hold it together that's literally why we're using the flour you don't need a lot of flour just cut it lightly cut it with flour and then shake the excess flour off and continue making your balls and after that we're gonna fry them balls yes i'm gonna pop these balls in hot oil <laughs> Ew. yes pop them there i am using canola oil to fry i love using canola oil to fry but feel free to use vegetable oil whatever high frying oil you like to use just don't use olive oil because then you wouldn't be frying it anymore so we're gonna fry them for about three minutes or until they are golden brown like me <laughs> oh my god yes listen brown balls are the best balls let me tell you that those brown balls i mean yeah look at it oh my god it's so beautiful wow so beautiful like i said fry it for three minutes three to four minutes let it get brown let it get let it get that beautiful color it's already cooked we just want the crisp the color and that's all that we need and go ahead and remove it off the heat oh my god you see what i fucking did y'all you see that i am so stupid oh my god I should cut that out wow Cindy you are dumb anyways so go ahead and remove them from the frying the oil the hot oil I let mine sit and so I had a I had paper in my bowl paper towel so that you know the paper towel will soak in all the oil so that way it's not just sitting in oil and it becomes like, like extra fat we don't want that no we don't Place it in paper oil in the bowl or in the plates, just like so. And see, beautiful, crispy, beautiful. Oh, you guys. Wow. And now continue frying the rest. Finish with the other batch. And then this is the recipe, y'all. Super easy, right? Super easy, delicious, yummy. I don't even I don't even know how to describe it anymore. Like, that's just how good it is. Oh, oh my god. And listen, you have to eat this with pickles. Like you must oh my god with pickles you guys i never knew i would like bread food this much because i hated bread food growing up i didn't like it and i still don't like it like these are the ways that i would eat it if it's sweet fried i'll eat it like that but if it's like that too i'll eat it like you know the balls yes but other than that i hated bread food tom tom is not my friend i do not like tom tom i'm not like lamb i don't i don't i never did and i never will but i love creating fun stuff with it like this look at this beautiful dish Anyways, I hope you guys like this recipe. If you give it a try, please let me know. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, and give this video a thumbs up. And thank you for watching. You have a nice life. I don't know what I'm saying. Anyways, thank you guys. Bye.